people and where praise, you oh, okay. praise thy name for the loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast you read the connect you you are thou hast what? Magnified thy word above all thy name. Do you know what this means? You you tell me. You magnify your word over thy holy name. That means whatever is written is a yes and amen. Say that again, I don't understand. No. Then read ten times no. No, I'm trying to understand. Please don't run away. I would like to understand if you have a time for a go. Oh, yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. Because because you're trying Isaiah to Isaiah fifty five mentioned as the rain coming down, never coming back. Okay. Same thing his word, whatever he said, or matter of time he will fulfill. So that's what that word mean his word he put over his holy name. So in your understanding of this verse, yeah. What is it telling you like about God and who God is? No, it means something whatever is written is yes and amen only matter of time. Oh, okay. So you believe that this is the word of God. Exactly. Oh, okay. that point is, yeah. Because you read it this one, but magnify. You, you mentioned that you've studied the Greek. Yeah. That's exactly so. But did Jesus speak Greek? Uh, probably not. No, he didn't. No. All mostly Armenian, that's a local language. Only. So if Jesus didn't speak Greek and the earliest manuscripts of the New Testament are only found in Greek. Yeah. Then because they spoke Greek, apostles spoke Greek. Which Paul. apostles? Paul was spoke Greek. But Paul was if, not Paul was not one of the no. disciples that met Jesus. Uh, was Paul was the instant of the Judah. Because he's not one of the twelve disciples that was with Jesus when he was alive. Yes, but so. but he pointed Judah pointed him because he was uh, met Jesus during the to the Damascus. But Remember it, then? but Jesus was not alive at that time. No, he was not alive. He was in the glory that time. In a dream. Come on. I'm asking yeah, like according to the Bible, it says that it was a dream. Not a dream. Jesus he was wasn't the driving alive. to Damascus to. Pre to persecute the other one. But it wasn't Jesus physically alive, right? According to the Bible. Okay, your words, what you're speaking now, is spirit or just what is this? No, I'm trying to understand No, you. no, 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 the same thing, what is coming to you? This word, what came from your lips now, what is it? It's my speech? No, your parts of yours, what is inside you? So. If I say something, do I lose this, a part of myself? No. Right. You're so presenting then, you. So then it's same not thing. Smart. Over there. <laughs> no, but if if I it's a part of me and it and I say it, then it leaves me. Then I don't have that part of me anymore. No. This part of you is everywhere. Okay. So I then think. that's where and that's why I wanted to be clear. If Jesus didn't speak Greek and the earliest manuscripts you have are in Greek, uh -huh. and we know that he spoke Aramaic. Can you say that the Bible has been preserved in its original form? Yes, original form. I just because, <laughs> because. Explain to me how logically that works for you. If Jesus spoke Aramaic, yes. he didn't speak Greek. Yeah. The earliest so, manuscripts okay. you have are in As Greek. As a creator, how he communicate with you and me? In the because language. In language. the language of the prophet that spoke. What kind of language? So for Jesus, it's Aramaic. For Moses, it's. it's if he said, "Who oh, this is written long time ago was written now was written a few years ago." How is this? You think is it true or not? I right? don't believe that this is the word of God. You believe it's the word of God. Yes, I believe. But you admit that Jesus didn't speak Greek. Jesus spoke Aramaic. Yeah. But and you're saying that it's preserved word of yeah, God. Yeah, of course. So how is it preserved if you don't have his original words okay. in Aramaic? Okay, how you how your existence you present? What is your existence? Your reason your existence and your is exist for what? What's Me? my what's the purpose of my yeah, life? What's your purpose? God created this life as a test to decide who is best in deeds. Allah says in the but according to what? According to a criterion that he revealed. Which where to the, the two criteria are? The Quran. Quran? Yeah. 
kidding me. Brother, I have a Quran. Hey, I would, I would love for, I would love for you to, ex but brother, I, I was having a conversation no, no, with you. No, time, but no, but hey, written, written Quran. I just want you to tell me how it's preserved if you don't have Aramaic. This is preserved. Because we have Arabic. This is, which translation is it? This goes into English, but we have the original Arabic. Yes, then read it Arabic. I'm say, I'm, Arabic. I can, I can. Reading? I can. can. There are people that have memorized the whole Quran. you study exactly Quran, the original verse, original? Yes, I'm studying Arabic and I'm studying the Quran then tafsir. Study more, you see. But I'm asking you, because you, you made a very, like, please, if you have time. No. You, sa you said that it's preserved. I want to know why do you think it's preserved? if you don't have the Aramaic. Do Why you, you use the English when it's not Arabic, not, not original? It's so that people can Why understand. Why to me English? And so you understand. If I speak my language, that I'm then, my mother tongue, you don't understand. Then you find maybe who understands. But I'm saying, how, you're saying it's preserved. How is it preserved if you don't have the original? You understand? My logic is very sound. I hope but you understand. Then, then what is the exactly the power of God who's supposed to be supposed to be open your eyes and understanding? Are you understanding what I'm asking you though? No, you don't understand me. What is your purpose of creation? Uh, okay. I'll come closer to you because I'm trying to understand you, right? You have to let him answer. Yeah. So what's your question, brother? Your purpose of existence. I explained to you, God tells us what our purpose of existence is in the Bible. Because yeah. is that this life is a testing ground. Okay, watch according to which rules? It's the same rules that God revealed to every prophet that he sent. No, God created perfect you and me. We're not all the we're, rules we're not, inside you. We are, we are not perfect though, my friend. All, all the rules are exactly in, in you. But my friend, we are not perfect. Like human beings are not perfect. Why not perfect? Because we forget. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, not forget. Are we oh, not? Around everything more influence on you, on your eyes and your ears no, but than it, inside is you. I, okay, I understand what you're saying now. You're saying that our creation, that God created it's us, perfect. it's magnificent. Then read your guy. But it is not perfect because only God is perfect. Yes, that's correct. Okay, good. But, but now, for me influence is this around with this here, what I see it and hear it, then more inside you. Remember, Ex explain, from TV, ex from radio. Explain to me how your understanding of reality is better I than mine. I'm sorry. You can, sorry you're making a claim and you can't Yeah. Because I asked then you, I would like, before you leave, can you just explain to me how you say that the Bible is preserved if you don't have the Aramaic manuscripts? Okay. Then from my heart to you, read Psalm 32.8. Is from my heart. I read. I read. Can, uh, no. I, can I read you? Can I read you something? Yeah, read okay. uh, Psalm 32 H from my heart to you. I, I read that with you. No, I, I would like not this one. Okay, can I read Psalm 32 H? Okay, we believe that whatever Jesus. Do you believe in Jesus? Of course. Okay. As my as my redeemer, my king. If Jesus says something, will you believe it? Will you follow it? Like if he you tells say, you, you something. You said word if, if this Quran, who make it by by people, wrote by people. It wasn't written by people. Maybe you're, Why not? Maybe you're misinformed. I, I, no, this is written by people. I can, I can inform. This is written by people too. No, I can tell you about the Quran. Our belief is not the same as your Bible. I can tell you about our belief, but I will, can I just read you this one thing? I can explain Quran that after. written by people, remember. It's not written by people. By That's, people, through people. What's your name, my friend? People. What's your name? Ted. Ted? Yes. Ted, I'm trying it's to... written here on the tear. Yes. Okay, brother, I'm trying to explain something to you. Yeah. If you tell me something about Christianity, I will check it with Christian scholars, right? So that I... Christian, Christianity created humans. Okay. Jesus what? didn't make Christianity. Okay. And didn't make any religion. Do you... Brother, okay, but... Nice. Do you... Any, any one, one minute, one minute. You, do you believe in Jesus? Of course. I okay. told you. Can I read some verse here? You John 17:3. Which one? John 17, 3. Okay. It says here, And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God. Yeah. Who's the only true God? True God, creator. Creator. Yeah. And Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Okay. Yes, that you know him. Jesus is saying the Father is the only true God. Of course. Do you believe that the Father is the course. only true God? Only. And Jesus is not God. 
Jesus is son of God. But Jesus says the Father is the only true God. Yes, so I believe. So is, do you agree Jesus, with Jesus? Jesus is only son of God, and not God. So does that mean that Jesus is God? No. Okay, good. Then you believe that the Father is the only true God? Of course, I was the creator. Okay, so then you're not a Trinitarian Christian. I believe God is the one only. One only God. Uh, one only. Not three first, in one. First, no, no, no way. Okay, that's no good. Way. So you're closer to our belief about Jesus than the Jesus Christians. Jesus is the Messiah, yeah. Redeemer. Okay. Redeemer, yes. But is as a son of God, not God. What do you mean by it, son of God? Can I understand? As a, as a, you have a son and I have a son, the same thing. His authority, it, the Creator gave him authority to do that. Is Jesus the only son of God? Or are there other sons of God in the Bible? It, by his word, by his teaching, it is, it, it, what Jesus mentioned, we will be son of God. Okay. So anybody that is led by the Spirit of God is the sons yeah, of that's God. That's correct. So Abra Abraham, son of God, Adam, son of God, Ephraim, son of God. Uh, that's just going to Old Testament. These are all mentioned in your Bible. Yes, mentioned, mentioned, but they are told son of to God be... is only written with. Uh, but yes, they, the son of God. Of they course. are said son of, of God. Course. Okay. Yeah, of so course. Jesus is not the only son of God. That's your word. The, I, that's what the Bible says. No, 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 no. Where did, no, no. Okay, did I did I misquote the Bible when I said Ephraim, son of God, Adam is son of God? Yes, the son of God. Is the anybody God. that, anybody that is led by this, the Bible says anybody that is led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God, and children of the Most High. Yeah. So then, it is not the case that Jesus is the only Son of God, right? If you are somebody that believes and follows what God teaches then you are a son of God. Yes? Son of God as the one only, as a Redeemer who gave. So how do you get to heaven in your belief? Heaven? Yeah, how, do you, how, do you, how are you saved from hellfire? How do you get to heaven? I am not, ex ex not uh, you know, to the heaven, to get to the heaven, not really a good idea, only Only Father decided who will go to heaven. Okay. So only how? So what? By the, by the gospel age, from the from the Jesus time to now to present time, it's gospel age to, to find the people. So you don't believe that Jesus has to die for your sins to go to heaven? Yeah, I believe it. Strongly believe it. Oh, so that's different than what you were saying. No, 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 no. This is so you're saying. Okay. Jesus he was resurrected, was resurrected as my Redeemer. Is it proof that I have a chance to okay. re, uh, to get up? If, it, if, Jesus, if, if Jesus himself says about his end times, Jesus says about his end times that my sign is the sign of Jonah. For yeah. as Jonah was three days and yeah, three nights that's correct. in the belly of the yeah, fish, yeah, that's correct. so shall the Son of Man be three days and three yes, nights yes, in the heart of the yes, no yes. earth. What happened? Did Jonah ever die? Of course he died. Where does the Bible say that Jonah no, died? No, he as a human. Only not die, only Jesus died, only just who died. Where does the Bible... Elijah, Elijah. No, we're talking Elijah. about Jonah. Jonah. No, Jesus, jo said, I... Jesus said the sign of Jonah. We're being very yeah, specific. I'm not yeah. misquoting the Bible. But I didn't find it there. But Jonah never died and he was never resurrected in the Bible story of his sign. But you're saying that Jesus lied because Jesus you're, said, my sign is the sign of Jonah. from the branch to the branch in the tree. No, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping many things, you're many, many topics. You're starting I'm trying to, because you believe in this. I yeah. don't believe in this, but you believe in this. I believe, if, if I believe first scripture that I gave you. Psalm 32. Eight. That's not Jesus speaking, though. This I, is Jesus speaking. No, I am Jesus talking said what my God said, what God said. Okay, but you, do, you believe I, the, do you believe the Old Testament or Jesus' words more? Both. Old, New Testament is a light to the Old Testament. If you had Jesus' words and a statement from the Old Testament, which one are you going to follow? The, as the word of, uh, word of both. Word of both? Yeah. 
So when the Old Testament says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one God. Everything uh, Apostle Paul mentioned to greet into our learning. But the Apostle Paul never met Jesus when he was alive. Kidding, okay. That's what the Bible tells End of us. Conversation, because it is yet true. No, but that's, the, that's what the Bible tells us. No. That Jesus had already left the earth. Yes. So then he did not meet Jesus when he was alive. And the disciples, the, in the glory. but the disciples came to Paul and they said, are you teaching what you are teaching the people? Because you mentioned Paul, you mentioned Paul. Yeah. Did Paul teach people that there are no longer dietary restrictions in contrary to what the, what the companions of Jesus were teaching? Because the companions of Jesus were teaching that you must still eat kosher. But Paul was saying you no longer have to That's eat correct. kosher. The, the disciples of Jesus were saying that you must be circumcised. Uh, said same thing, said no. same thing, whatever. But, but listen, saying, listen, who is more in authority? The disciples of Jesus or Paul who never met Jesus? You're catching my words only. Try to catch me. No, the, you don't uh, teaching, you try to me find out. That I'm asking you as a, a I'm asking you as a no, Christian. No. You're, you, you try to push me in the black corner. Which corner is that, sir? Which corner is that? That's what you're doing now. No, I'm saying... Have a wonderful day. You as well, but think about it. Paul is... Paul is... To you, Psalm 32, 8. And John 17, 3. <laughs> SubhanAllah.